The black, the plain black, is indignant of your mourning of the, of the apostles that died for him. You're still mourning. Every time you put this, every time you put this attire on, you're mourning the loss that the kingdom has suffered for the sake of the gospel. You're also saying, I'm willing to die for the sake of the gospel. The collars that you wear around your neck when they beheaded the apostles, mm. they put a sheet around, a cloth around your neck so where the axman could lay his axe to where he could strike and sever the head. Thus, the only thing that remained was the white coat, was the white collar. The second note to the collar being that you're living. That collar means that you're yoked to this ministry. You're an eternal servant. For the rest of your days, God forbid you, if you backslid, that vow stays with you. Oh, say that again? Oh. Even if you run away from here, you made a vow. You said, I'm going to die for this gospel. There is no other alternative. Once you say yes, yes is it. I should know. I ran for seven years and was tormented for seven years. Until I came back and told God yes. But you see before you just halfway made. It took a while. But can keep giving God a yes and God will put it in you so to where your yes will be eternal. These colored shirts are just ranking. But they're very significant. Back in the days when the apostles were sent to die, they were sent to slaughter. They would put them in pits with lions, wild beasts, that they starved for days and days out. The robes that they put them in the prison or in the in the Coliseum were white. You know, the owl. It was white. They were in the lion's den. And in the Colosseum, while everybody was roaring to death with them. To death with them. And their last breath, they prayed for strength from God to not denounce his name because of what was to come. As they sat there and prayed, the gates opened and the lions and the beasts were released. And in these white owls, the beasts would attack them and rip their bodies apart. The blood spewed on the white so that it dyed the white red, magenta, blue, purple. While they dragged their bodies, it dyed it black. Which means that you are ready to lose your life for the sake of this ministry. You're ready to give everything that you have left with the last fiber of your being to die for what you believe in. It is important that you wait on God for your ministry. Because when you put on something that you're not authorized to wear and haven't been sanctioned to wear, you draw a target on your own self and you acquire a tax that you're not ready for. Hallelujah. This cord that you wear around your neck means whatever God leads me, I'll follow. You're no longer your own. You're a prisoner. God drags you through trials and tribulations. He drags you through persecution. Whatever God takes me, I'm going. Hallelujah. The cross on your neck just simply means that I recognize that my salvation was purchased, was purchased. That it was nothing that I deserved, nothing that I'd done to receive such a position. But God, thank you for considering me and bragging about me. So, ah, glory to God, that you've allowed me to suffer like you. And even Peter looked at it and said, God, I'm not willing to suffer like you. Turn me upside down. I'm not worthy to be crucified like my Lord and Savior. When you wear this attire, in your ears should ring to death. But the Bible says you'll be persecuted for my name's sake. 
you'll be hated by nations. You preach not to be liked. Hallelujah. You preach not to gain fame or fortune. Hallelujah. You preach not to have everybody in your corner. But you preach the gospel to compel souls to come. As you put this stuff on, remember that you're a target for the enemy. Oh, yes. That you stand in the face of death Amen. every day. Amen. Everybody don't care that you're a priest. God, I thank you. Everybody don't care that you're a servant of God. God, I praise you. But you rely on God for your total existence. And if at the last minute, God says this is your time to go, then you can go with a smile on your face and say, into thy hands, oh God. I commend my spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. You are a priest of the Most High God. Amen. You are a servant that's been picked out. Right. To be picked on. That's Amen. it. You're somebody that the devil hates because you told God yes to something that he said no to. Oh! You told God, I will serve you yes. with the last fiber of my being. And to those that went on before, take your rest. I'll handle it from here. Mm -hmm. right, glory, glory. Come on, brother. Uh, to those patriots that died brutally or in their sleep, don't worry about it. I got it from here. I got it. I'm, I'm on my boat. I'm standing where I need to be. Here I am, oh God. Hey. That's what you're wearing. Yes, God. Here I am, God. Yes, God. I know I don't have a choice. Mm -mm. I know you gave me free will, but literally I really don't have a choice. Yes. Because to stray away from my whole Shema. Hey! Oh, yeah. To stray away from your will. I will lose all base with you. Oh God. But God, I give you everything that I have left. Uh, come on, man. Come on. As I strap my collar on mm. and put on my attire, I realize that I'm no longer a regular person, but I am a son of the most high God. Come on, bro. I will serve you to the last day of my life. To the last breath in my body. To the last breath I can say, take me and come on faith. Into thy hands I commit my spirit. You can go knowing that you've done all that you're supposed to do. We're of your servitude now. God will reward you. Amen. Yes. Yes. Go through the trials well. Amen. And in due season, he will exalt your stand to your feet. Amen. 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 Amen.